Hi guys, Mike here from IC Shades. In this one, I'll show you how to get a thousand gamer score for the game Gris. The game has 17 achievements and it takes around two to three hours to get them all. If you don't get all of them in the first playthrough, you can load one of the six chapters. Two, three, four and five have three parts and you can see them all in the timestamps. Do not forget to like and subscribe and if you're ready, let's dive into the game. Choose new game and wait for the cutscene to end. You'll be on the ground, move right and after you fall again, move left. Jump over the rock using the A button. You will fall once more. Do not press any buttons and the denial achievement will pop. Move right. When climbing up a hill, it is a little faster to jump and this will be helpful a little later. you'll eventually find your first star. You need to collect stars to progress through the game. Continue right and then jump on the structure and go left. Turn right, going up the hill, get another star and the cutscene will start. Here you need three stars to cross and you only have two. Move left, up the stairs and over the gap. Up the stairs again and jump down left Grab the first memento. You need to collect 28 throughout the whole game for an achievement. Go back right, up the hill, left, up the stairs and all the way up. Because you have two stars, a star path is available on which you can walk. Jump down, grabbing the third star and with that on the right another star path will be available. Cross it, down the hill, continue right and reach the hand. The red achievement will pop. Continue right, up the stairs and reach the middle of this area for the cutscene. This is the checkpoint for chapter 2, part 1. Continue right, down the stairs and down the hill where you will automatically slide. Ride some more, up the stairs, all the way up for another cutscene. Jump to the right and go left for the second memento. This is the checkpoint for chapter 2, part 2. You'll have to hide from the storm in order to get an achievement. To hide, you need to be behind the structures. To anticipate the storm, listen to the wind, the music and watch out for the windmill's blades which will start to rotate. After it passes, continue right. As I mentioned before, try to jump when going up a hill to move faster. That way, it will be easier to avoid the storm. Use the rocks to climb and hide again. Jump down, up the hill, and while you hide here, grab another star. Down the hill, jump on the rocks, and hide again. Jump down and go right. Under the structure, you'll find another star. Wait for the storm to pass and go left. Up the rocks and hide here again. Jump right, two stars for the star path, cross. Continue right, jumping on the platforms. Then hide in the big structure which will start to move. Go all the way up and jump down to grab the third memento and then go back up. When the structure stops moving, wait for the storm to pass, go right, jump down and hide to the left. Go right and hide. Because you have two stars, you will unlock the block ability. You can transform into a stone block by pressing the X button. Go back left. Far left, jump and press X in the air to transform yourself into the stone block and smash the ground, picking up the fourth memento. Go right. You don't have to hide from the storm anymore because you can transform into the stone block when you hear or see the wind and the storm won't affect you. More so, you can even move. Continue right, passing the point where you got the block ability and transform into the stone block again to avoid the storm. This time it is actually required to move in stone block form. 
if you were not affected at all by the storm, the sandstorm achievement will pop while you enter the structure. Continue right. Jump on the moving rock to cross and write some more. Climb using the platforms. You will need to turn to the stone block even if you have done the achievement so you won't get knocked down from the platforms. However, on the tallest one, you will have to wait for the storm without switching to stone block. The storm will push you and you will grab the fifth memento. Go back left. You don't need to use the moving rock now. And then smash the ground three times under the bell, jump and transform to stone block. And then smash the ground two more times. Upon reaching the bottom, go right. Climb on the vases, jump and smash the two statues. Go left. Climb on the statue, jump and smash it. The anger achievement will pop and you will be transported back up. This is the checkpoint for chapter 2, part 3. Move left and down the hill. Continue left, up the platforms. Use the windmill's blades to reach the left platform and go left some more. You will now have to smash 14 stone piles for an achievement. Stone pile number 1. Continue left and smash stone pile number 2. Go up using the rocks, smash stone pile number 3, go on the middle platform and smash it down. Go right, jump and smash stone pile number 4. Then up the platform and use the star path to go left. Smash stone pile number 5, continue left, down the ramp and up the platforms. Smash the platform down so you can reach the structure, up the stairs and on the long platform. Smash it far right to put it back and then go left. Jump on the rock and get on one of the windmill's blades. You can jump to make it move faster. Jump on the center part of the windmill and then on another blade in order to reach the top platform and grab the sixth memento. From here, jump on the rock for a star and then jump right and go back. Using the second star path, as you now have the stars for it, you can now access the right area and smash stone pile number six. Continue right up some ramps, turn left and smash stone pile number 7. Climb some more, a ramp and some rocks and smash the top of the structure to create a rock path. Use it, smash stone pile number 8 and then jump right, a platform will catch you and you'll get the 7th memento. Go back up the ramp, left on the rocks and slide down left. Smash stone pile number 9 and continue left. Far left. Smash stone pile number 10 and then smash the middle platforms. Make sure you stand on both of them before you smash. Climb up using the platforms and go left. Up the ramp and down the stairs. Smash the rock to free the balloon and go back up the stairs and smash the small platform that is coming out of the rock. As soon as you have enough space, jump and get the star. Up the stairs again and smash in the same spot, but this time wait till the balloon gets as low as possible. Then go fast up the stairs, jump on the platform under the balloon and use the small rocks to reach the big rock. Smash it which will create another rock path and use it to get the 8th memento. Slide right and continue right. Cross the moving platforms and go right. Smash stone pile number 11 and continue right. Up the ramp, turn left and up the rocks. Wait for the moving rock to position itself under you and smash it. The robot that was actually moving the rock will run to the right. Go after him, he will hide under another rock and then he will lift the rock and you will be able to grab another star. Go back left, down the ramp and lift some more. Climb on the platforms and then on the star path which is now available, going left. Smash stone pile number 12, go up the stairs, up the ramps and right. Smash stone piles number 13 and 14 and as those were the last ones, the Inuksut achievement will pop. Go back left and up the platforms. Go to the far right part of the big windmill and start to climb on its blades. 
at the top, jump and smash. This will make the windmill move. Go far right and wait. Up the small ramp and continue right. Jump on the white rocks and reach the hand which will get you the green achievement. Move to the right and you'll start to slide. After you reach the bottom, continue left, jump on the stairs and then go in the middle for the cutscene. Continue left and this is the checkpoint for chapter 3, part 1. Jump down and left some more through the forest. Use the three leaves to cross. Do it again, but this time the second and the third tree will have their leaves disappear and reappear so you'll have to time your jumps. Then jump down and you'll meet a square guy which will now run, but eventually you'll have to feed him 8 apples for an achievement. Continue left. Jump down and here once again you'll have to time your jumps in order to cross. Some leaves will change from square to triangle and back. Jump on the triangle, square left, triangle right, square right, triangle left, square left and triangle left to slide. Continue left and do it again. Jump on the small square and wait for the other squares to appear. Jump three times right and then left on the triangle and left on the square. Wait for the triangle to become a square and jump right. Continue right, square, triangle and square. Wait for the triangle to become a square and then jump left. Jump on the square, wait and just as the square you are on disappears, jump left three times and then wait for the square you are on to disappear again and then jump right and left two times to get the ninth memento. Continue left, smash the ground and you will land on a tree. This will make an apple fall and the square guy will eat it and that's apple number one. Go left and now he will follow you. Jump on the trees and smash the second one for apple number 2. And then go left, up on the triangle, square left, back on the square that was a triangle, and 4 more jumps to the right. Smash for apple number 3, jump left 6 times, and smash the tree for apple number 4. Go near the square guy for a cutscene, and then follow him underground. Go left and don't jump. You will reach apple number 5, and the square guy will eat it. Then go back. When you jump, he will jump as well, but not as high as you. So jump two times here and two times here. Wait for the branches to clear. Jump down and continue left. Climb on the structure and jump smash to clear the path for the square guy. Continue left and after you pass this big rock, he will be on the structure. Go back right so he can eat apple number 6 that's up on the structure. Go left and when he reaches the pillar, jump and smash. He will copy you and clear the path. Continue left. Jump on the tree and smash for apple number 7. Jump on the structure, jump down in the middle and go left. Wait for the square guy to be on top of the rubble, jump and smash and the square guy will do the same. Then go in the middle, jump and smash. After you slide, go left to get the square guy and then right for apple number 8 and the last one. The apple's achievement will pop. Go left. The square guy will go underground and you'll continue left. Jump down. Down the stairs and turn right. As you move right, you will fall underground. Follow the path going up on the branches and you'll meet the square guy who will give you a star. Go left, jump down, down the stairs and continue left. As you will notice, each time you jump, the three leaves will appear and disappear or change form right and up the stairs. Jump right when the leaves close to you are not there, so they will appear when you jump. And then continue to jump and you will eventually cross. Continue right 
and here jump until the leaves form a square. Jump towards them to get on a triangle. Then get on the right square, jump one time and go back on the triangle that will become a square. Jump left and you'll end up on a square. Fall on the square below, don't jump, and then jump left to get the 10th memento. Go right, jump right again when leaves form a square and land on the triangle. Jump on the square to the right, jump one time to make the left square a triangle, then jump on it, it will be a square. Jump left and the square will appear. Jump on the square above, which will become a triangle, jump right and then right again to get the star. Jump on the square to the right, jump on the triangle, right on the square and on the platform. Go right, down the stairs and with the two stars collected, the double jump slash glide ability will unlock. This is checkpoint for chapter 3, part 2. Go right and double jump to climb. Up the stairs and left up the stairs. Jump on the three leaves, double jump and continue to climb using the new ability, keeping in mind that the three leaves change. Here, when you press A for the second jump, keep it pressed to glide. Reach the top and with the double jump ability comes the ability to use butterflies, the red ones. When you are in contact with them, press A and they will boost you. Go right, smash the vase, which will free some butterflies and use them to boost up. Get the 11th memento and go left to fall down. Continue left. Turn right and up the stairs. Jump on the vase and then use the butterflies to boost up. Jump left and wait a bit for the second jump. As soon as you are close to the platform, glide and reach it. Up the stairs. Use the butterflies to boost and right. Wait for the butterflies, jump to get in contact with them, boost and use the other ones to boost again. Go right, smash the ground and get the 12th memento. Go left, smash the vase to free the butterflies and boost. When you are close to the top, double jump. Go left, up the stairs, turn right, use the trees to cross jumping when the leaves start to disappear. Use the butterflies to boost and go left. Jump from leaves again when they start to disappear, but this time also glide a bit in the air until the next leaves appear. Smash the ground and use the butterflies to boost and go right. Then use the butterflies to boost several times. After you reach the statue, press B and the bargaining achievement will pop. Go right, smash the vase, use the butterflies to boost, go right, butterfly boost again, then left, butterfly boost and one more time. Go left to trigger the cutscene and the bird will appear. It will push you to the left platform. Use the butterflies to boost three times and then go right. The bird will use its scream to push you away. Use the block ability to not get pushed and use the butterflies to boost. Go left up on the platform. This time let the bird push you but you need to be in the air gliding when it does in order to get the 13th memento. Go back left, use the block ability and then use the butterflies to boost. Go right and the bird will push you up. Go left, use the butterflies three times to boost and when using them the third time, steer left to get over the structure and just when you are at the mementos level, glide to take memento 14th. Go right, butterfly boost two times and then go right. Butterfly boost two times again and go left. Butterfly boost one time and glide so the bird pushes you on the left platform. Butterfly boost one more time and then go right. Smash the vase, butterfly boost and then go left. Up the stairs and jump glide when the bird screams. Stop on the tree and one more time. Jump and glide when the bird screams. Smash the vase and use the butterflies to boost. Go left and up the stairs to the top. Butterfly boost again and you will fly along the bird. Butterfly boost, climb the stairs. Butterfly boost again. And climb some more. And two more butterfly boosts. For the bird fight, just turn into the block and go towards it. Eventually it will break the block but this will also sound the bell, which will hurt the bird. 
Go right, smash the vase and butterfly boost. Go on the bell, transform into the block and move as close to the edge as possible. When the bird stops screaming, jump and transform again into the block. Move towards it and the scream again will break the block, sound the bell and hurt the bird, which will end the fight. Butterfly boost on the right and butterfly boost four times starting from the bell. Go right on the star path and up the stairs. You will automatically jump in the hand and after the cutscene, the blue achievement will pop. Butterfly boost steering right and you will slide and fall. This is the checkpoint for chapter 3, part 3. Go right, butterfly boost and land on the water platform. Double jump right, butterfly boost again, landing again on the water platform, jump right on another one and jump right again. Jump on the leaves and from the second tree's leaves, double jump on the water platform. Jump on the second water platform and then double jump and butterfly boost on another water platform. Jump right on yet another one, right again and butterfly boost gliding in the air. Smash the ground, jump to the right and get the 15th memento. Continue right. Jump on the water platform, on the pillar and then right in the water. Use butterflies to boost and move faster. Up the stairs and in the middle for the cutscene. Go right, down the stairs and left. This is checkpoint for chapter 4, part 1. Continue left down the stairs and you'll fall through a tunnel. Follow the tunnel. Smash the ground, get out of the water and go right. Go left. Smash the hang structure and go right and then left. Go up the stairs, jump in the air and smash to bypass the water. Go right. Jump on the vase, butterfly boost and continue right. Climb the mushrooms. Going far left. Smash the far left mushroom, use the butterflies to boost and go right for the 16th memento. You will slide down and then continue right. Smash the left structure, then the right one, and continue left. Smash the vase and use the butterflies to boost, steering left to get over the structure. Smash in the air and as soon as you are in the water, steer right to go under the structure. Then go right and smash two times. This is the checkpoint for chapter 4, part 2. Go left. In this area, after a fixed interval, you will leave an ice replica of yourself in the position you are in. Transform into the block so you can climb using the ice replica of it. Then do it again on the platform two times. To reach the star. Go back in the middle area. And then right. Block and climb and then block on the right platform and smash the top right structure so you can reach the second star of the area. Go back left and in the center you will get the swimming ability. Now you can swim and also boost through water by pressing the A button. After the narrow crossing, turn right for the 17 memento. Then continue down. You'll start to follow a star and then after you fall, go left and up. Up the stairs and use the butterflies to boost into the water. Get out of the water with a water boost and jump in the water section above. Do it again to reach the butterflies and boost in the third water section. Boost one more time in the water to reach the last water section and then swim right and down. 
Grab the star, swim down, smash and swim right. Swim down and left. Follow the tunnel, get out of the water and jump back into the water. When swimming, you can grab butterflies, so grab the ones on the right. Boost from water and butterfly boost in the air. And basically, that's how you use the water butterflies. Swim left and down. Swim right, grab the butterflies again, back left and up through the red tunnel, boost in water and boost with butterflies for another star. Go back, down, right, up and out of the water. Jump in the water, follow the tunnel, then swim down and left into a secret room. The depression achievement will pop. Swim back and then up and right. Get out of the water and go right. Get into the water far right. Swim down, then circle and go up and left. Down, right, up and right and grab the star. Swim down from the star, left and grab the butterflies. Back right and up and then left and up. Follow the tunnel, boost out of the water and use the butterflies to boost in air to get to the top water. Swim right and down and you will fall on the 18th memento. Smash the vase, use the butterflies to boost and go left. Jump into the water, swim left, up and right. Follow the star, spook it and then go back and take the star. Swim to the center area for the cutscene. Follow the turtle. Pass it and you will start to fall and then slide. Swim down, left and up. Boost out of the water to reach the platform and go left. Jump and swim up through the waterfall to reach the hand. The yellow achievement will pop. Press B for the cutscene. The bird will follow you and in the water it will transform into an eel. It has two different types of bites. A small bite for which you don't have to do anything and a big bite which you will need to avoid for an achievement. Six in total. To avoid it, keep an eye on the eel. It will open its mouth and before the actual bite it will do a fake bite. When it does that, press A to boost. Three big bites from the big eel. And one more from the half eel. We'll have another part running from the eel to sum up the six big bites and get the achievement. Swim up and through the tunnel. Eventually you will make a right. Before you make the second right, go left to find the 19th memento and then continue through the tunnel. When you reach the big area, swim down and the eel will start to chase you again. Two big bites. And at the third one, the turtle will come and save you. If you have managed to avoid all six bites, and this is how it looks when the eel actually bites you, the eel achievement will pop. Swim left, down, fall and you'll slide. This is the checkpoint for chapter 4, part 3. Continue left. Up on the ice and in this area you'll notice the light turns on when you are close to it. Jump 3 times to reach the top platform and then jump on the light square and jump right. Continue right. Jump on the vase. Use the butterflies to boost and right again. Jump in the water, swim right, jump and go through the tunnel, use the butterflies to boost, 
go back sitting right and get the 20th memento. Go back left, use the butterflies again and swim left. Get out of the water landing on the light square and jump left. Butterflies to boost and swim up and then through the waterfall. Go left, smash the ground to light up the square and then smash the ground far right. Swim left and up. Swim right and through the waterfall into the water square. Boost to the next water square and do that three more times. Through the waterfall and reach the cutscene. Go right, climb the stairs, turn left, climb another set and as you do, jump right, smash the vase, use the butterflies to boost and go left. Jump over the gap and this is the checkpoint for chapter 5, part 1. Climb the stairs, grab the bird light and climb some more stairs. The bird light will reveal hidden structures, in this case the stairs. Smash the vase and use the butterflies to boost and do that again. Use the butterflies to boost two more times, reaching the water square. Swim through the waterfall and then go right. Jump and when you are in contact with the fireflies, similar to the butterflies, press A to reveal structures and get a boost. You have to move fast as they gradually fade away. Go down and up the stairs to reach another set of fireflies. Jump and A when in contact and then left. Climb on the platforms reaching the top of the building and wait for the structure to fade. After it fades, use the butterflies to boost up twice and then go left and grab the 21st memento. Continue left, smash the ground, use the butterflies in the center to boost twice and get into the water. Grab the butterflies on the left, boost out of the water and use the butterflies to boost in air, jumping left over the tower. Grab the 22nd memento and smash through the ground. Go right and fall down. Use the butterflies to boost twice into the water. Grab either of the butterflies, boost from the water and use the butterflies to boost in air. Swim through the waterfall. Go left and slide. Jump in the water square and continue to follow the water squares. Up, left, up, right and up. Jump right, smash the ground and go right. Grab the light bird, up the stairs, right, down the stairs and smash the vase which will make the bird disappear. Grab the other light bird from the left and go right. Use the butterflies to boost and jump on the platforms reaching the top of the building. Smash the ground to make the bird vanish and use the butterflies to boost three times. This is the checkpoint for chapter 5, part 2. Go left up the stairs and continue left. Smash the ground and use the butterflies to boost two times. Up the stairs, right and butterflies to boost again and go right. Jump on the vases, up the stairs to the left and continue to go up. At the top, use the butterflies to boost and you will reach the upside world. Jump right, up the stairs Use the butterflies to boost, then left and butterflies to boost again, returning to the normal world. Up the stairs, jump into the upside world, jump back into the normal world and then jump again into the upside world and press A again in mid-air to reach the butterflies. Use them to boost, go left and use the butterflies to get the 23rd memento. Again up the stairs and jump 3 times and at the last jump glide and then use the butterflies to boost. Go right through the light and go left of the stairs revealed by the light. Use the butterflies to boost into the upside world and swim right. Grab the butterflies, swim back left, water boost and butterfly boost to activate the square light in the normal world, jump back into the upside world and jump right. Use the butterflies to boost and smash the ground and get the star. Then go right, passing the central area. Up the stairs and continue right. Swim and get the butterflies. Boost out of the water and boost with the butterflies and then use another set of butterflies and go right. Use butterflies again to boost and climb on the platform to reach the top. Again butterflies to boost into the upside world through the water square and then go left. Up the stairs, jump right and use the butterflies to boost. Go left, smash the vase, use the butterflies to boost again and return to the normal world. 
circle the structure underwater, use the butterflies to boost two times, smash the ground in the upside world, circle the structure underwater grabbing the butterflies, water boost and butterfly boost, and circle the structure again underwater in the normal world. Grab the butterflies from the water on the left, water boost and butterfly boost to reach the water square, and then water boost again to reach the other water square in the upside world. Swim up, grab the butterflies and go back through the waterfall. You will lose the butterfly if you don't swim through the waterfall. Water boost and butterfly boost changing directions, going over the structure and back into the upside world. Jump on the vase and use the butterflies to boost. Smash the ground and get the star. Go left. And in the center, because you have gotten the two stars, you will get the singing ability. With it, you can open flowers and reveal butterflies. Also, if you sing to the five fowls, you will get the magic fowl achievement. This is the checkpoint for chapter 5, part 3. Go left, up the stairs, and sing to open the flower and reveal some butterflies. Use them to boost, steering right. Sing again and boost with the butterflies again. Jump right and then right above the light square which will make platforms appear. Jump left and right two times, use the butterflies to boost, steering left, and jump left to get the 24th memento. Also, sing for the first foul. Go left, fall down right under, use the butterflies to boost, steering left, and then jump left, sing to create a waterfall. Fall down into the water and swim left, grabbing butterflies. Boost out of the water and boost in the air with the butterflies to go over the structure and get the star. Continue to swim left, swim through the waterfall and go right. Up the stairs, jump left on the platform and sing for the second foul. Use the fireflies to go up and fast up on the vase and up on the stairs. You have to move fast because they fade. At the top use the other set of fireflies in order to go into the upside world. Go left, up the stairs. Use the butterflies to boost, right, up the stairs, and use the butterflies to boost again. Fall down to the right, go left, use the butterflies to boost, and in air, press A again to stop and go right for the 25th memento. Fall down left and use again the same butterflies to boost, this time all the way up, and then go left. Sing in the middle and use the revealed butterflies to boost into the upside world. Sing to open all flowers in the upside world while also climbing to the top one. From the top one, sing to open a flower in the normal world, jump to go into the normal world and again sing to open the remaining flowers. Jump left from the far left flower and glide. Down the stairs, use the butterflies to boost, go left and jump to get the star you will fall down and slide to the right. Continue right. Smash the ground, landing in the water. Swim down, right, then up, jump on the platform, sink for the third foul and jump back into the water. Swim right, then go out of the water and go right again, reaching the center part. Continue right, up the stairs, sing to reveal butterflies and use them to boost and jump into the water square. Boost into the water in the upside world and swim right. Water boost back into the normal world on the platform and sing. A spider will be created which will follow you. Jump on it and stay on the right edge and it will move to the right. Jump on the platform and back on the spider. Sing to create flower platforms and jump on them and get the star. Go right. Butterfly boost into the water and swim left. Grab the butterflies, swim up and water boost and butterfly boost into the upside world. Go right, up the stairs, use the butterflies to boost and jump double jump right. Fall to the right and sing for the fourth foul and go left for the 26th memento. Use butterflies to boost two times, jump left and use the butterflies to boost again into the normal world. Go right, up the stairs, and slide down. Sing in the middle and jump on the moving platform from the right. Jump and go into the upside world when the platform is up. Sing in the middle, go to the left and jump on the big platform. Jump into the normal world when the big platform is closest to the intersection of the worlds 
and then back into the upside world from the other side of the platform. Jump and glide right when the platform is closest to the intersection of the worlds and continue right. Down the stairs, butterflies to boost into the normal world and right. Jump and grab the star and you will slide to the left. Continue left. And sing for the fifth foul and the magic foul's achievement will pop. Smash through the ground and swim left. Down, right and down again through the waterfall and follow the water squares. Down, left, up and water boost to get the 27th memento. Go back to the bottom water square and swim up through the waterfall. Then left, up, jump on the platform, fall into the water, left and up. Sing to reveal butterflies, use them to boost steering slightly right, sing again to reveal another set of butterflies and use these ones to boost steering left. Sing in the middle, Smash a vase and use the butterflies to reach the red leaves. Climb to the top and the star path will be revealed. Follow it. At the top sing and you will fall. This is the checkpoint for chapter 6. Go left, fall down, jump down and swim left. Grab the 28th memento underwater and the memento's achievement will pop. Swim back right, up the stairs, and ride some more. Up the stairs, jump right, use the butterflies to boost, and go left. Fall again, and immediately go right into a secret room. Sing here, and after the cutscene, the childhood achievement will pop if you have gathered all mementos. Go left, fall down, go right, Jump, use the butterflies to boost, sing to reveal butterflies and use them to jump and steer left. Once you reach the platform, the cutscene will start. After it, you will find yourself in another world. Go left, jump on the ramp and sing in the middle. The acceptance achievement will pop. Go right and climb on the rocks. Eventually, you will reach the hand. Sing to put it back together. After this cutscene, you will be back near the star path. Follow it and finish the game. At the end of the credits, the end achievement will pop. And that's it guys, 1000 gamer score for the game Gris. I hope the video was useful and until next time, stay frosty and extra spicy.